So you're also like on HLTV? Yeah, I read my uh, I read, read HLTV for my news and uh, political advice and <laughs> stock advice. Do you, do you have an account <laughs> there? No. Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, yeah, I we're, do. Not, we're not going to reveal <laughs> what your account is. Right? Yeah. Hello, Dexter. We're here one day away from the IM Cologne 2022 uh, playoffs. Uh, thanks for taking the time to be here. I mean, it's not that normal, right? To do interviews or content uh, one day before. Uh, but I think that's going to be the norm moving forward for eSport events, right? Everyone wants to do media content, ESL content, right? Mm -hmm. um, but let's start with like maybe some quick questions. Um, what is your favorite food? Um, I answered this before, but uh, it's a Vietnamese rice dish called gum tam, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's just rice pork and marinated Vietnamese way, and yeah. Actually, that, that's also my favorite uh, food or dish, and we had it right in Hamburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite How would you rate the Hamburg version of it? Hamburg version was quite good actually, so I'm thankful for actually being able to eat that while in Germany. <laughs> it's a rare dish. So we go there again when we come back. Exactly. Um, what is your favorite animal? Favorite animal? Um, cat, probably. Cat? Yeah. Like a cat on your jersey? <laughs> yeah, I'm a cat person in terms of pets and I guess in terms of random animals, maybe like a, a llama or something. A llama? Yeah. <laughs> why, why a llama? They're just chill and nice. Okay. So you ever met a real llama in life? Yeah, in real life? I have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your favorite movie or TV show? Favorite movie, easily Lord of the Rings series. So yeah. Which which one of the? All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, all of them have different uh, qualities and and strengths and whatnot. So I grew up with it, and yeah, it's been a part of my life forever. Oh. Did you read the books? Uh, no, the books are uh, written in the old style of English. That makes it hard to read. I read them. It was a it's a, not easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially the first eighty pages or something like that. It's 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 quite boring. And I was like fourteen. Exactly. But, uh, but what was your like favorite character of Lord of the Rings? Um, in terms of the movies, I mean, you uh, can't talk about the book. <laughs> oh yeah, it, probably like yeah, G Gandalf. Gandalf. Yeah. Um, what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to everything. Um, depends on my mood, but recently it's been mostly ABBA. ABBA. Yeah. Which song is there? Like one song that sticks out? It's just all the songs. <laughs> yeah. how, how, how did you come up with ABBA? Like somebody told you to listen to ABBA? Or? Oh, I was listening to ABBA and stuff when I was younger. Mm. Um, my parents every Sunday would play music, and it was either. Um, what is it, the Eagles or ABBA or uh, the Bee Gees? Yeah. yeah, exactly. I listened to Hotel California at least 20,000 times I mean, in my that life. That must be an Asian thing or not? Yeah. Because uh, was it Chang Chi, the movie, when it came out? Did I don't even know. It? I don't even know. It? No, no, no. But they had like a karaoke scene and the, the song they picked was uh, Hotel California. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. I think, <laughs> yeah, I listened to Hotel California like every day as well. But, uh, for me, it was also Santana. I love Santana. Okay. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that was just my dad, but that uh, yeah. California every Asian. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, what was your favorite game of all time? My favorite game of all time, apart from CS, I guess. Um, uh, Medieval Total War Two. Okay, I don't know this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just some RTS game. Um, yeah. But I have so many games that I like. Like, I grew up with Wolfenstein 3D, and then, like, my dad would play that, and I'll be on his lap while I was watching, and then return to Castle Wolfenstein, and then uh, 1.6, and then Age of Empires. So I played all the classics basically. So a lot of RTS actually. Right? Yeah, I like RTS. So RTS. it's a bit sad how the RTS games are not coming back, kind of. Yeah. And. Uh, Room service, one second. <laughs> room service. Um, but uh, the interesting thing you said, your dad already played games. Mm -hmm. So uh, since I'm Asian as well, that like sounds really uncommon to me. You know, how, how come that your dad already played games? Uh, my dad was uh, getting into IT and 
um, in Australia. So I guess he just kind of decided to try games, like because yeah, games are coming up with IT and everything like that. So he tried to get to play some games just for fun, and then yeah, the game we landed on was Wolfenstein 3D, and yeah, we played that. But that's the only game he really played. It's not like he's an avid gamer or anything like that. He just wanted to play something on PC, and that was it. And that was my first introduction to anything. But do you think it made it easier for you to get into this kind of job, right? As an Asian, as a, uh, especially with the culture and uh, like expectations of family. Uh, my parents in general just didn't really care. As long as I finished university, they were like, yeah, do whatever you want. Mm. So as I'm not on the streets uh, doing drugs and stuff like that. So <laughs> thank God. So they don't care. <laughs> what did you study? I did a double degree in tourism and commerce. Tourism mm. management and commerce. Um, and all your travel <laughs> all over the world. That's, yeah. uh, that's kind of funny. Um, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3? Right now, 4 by 3. I did 16 by 9 for the, last other, the other two months um, this year. But uh, sometimes I just feel like a different change. Not for any reason, just I want the game to look different. Mm. And then I swap. So black bars or stretch? Just stretched. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we come to the a bit more tougher questions of these quick fire questions you know uh, what do you like the most about being a professional esports player uh what i like the most about being professional would be the interactions with um, fans um, maybe it's a cop-out answer but i guess when uh when there's people out there that are actually Trying to be genuinely nice, it's a different change in life and it's good to see, that's all. Yeah. But you mean like face to face or just online? Face to face, online, whatever, yeah. I mean, face to face was a bit difficult, right? The last yeah, yeah. three years. Yeah. Um, is this actually the biggest event that you're going to play on stage? Or? Yeah, it will be, yeah. That's going to be fun, I think, uh, with Maus being a German organization here in Germany. Yeah, it'll be fun in general. Yeah. I love it. Um, what the, let's talk about the opposite. What do you hate the most about being a professional esports player? Again, probably the fans. <laughs> <laughs> you got the yeah the, the the dark side and the the, the good side of everything. So yeah, I guess uh, there's there's few crazies that are um, that tell you all this bad stuff, and um, it's interesting to see how their lives are going to be able to be that type of person to someone they don't know. So. Mm. They're pretty, yeah. They're pretty terrible part of the esport. I mean, we're gonna talk about it later a bit, but uh, it's kind of funny also how people turn on you, right? But we'll talk about that later. Mm. Um, before a match, do you have like any rituals or routine that you do? Um, I really don't have any rituals or anything like that. I the most basic routine is to do one thousand um, bots and then. Do my arm stretches and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. Just make sure I'm prepared mentally and I've showered and listened to music and relaxed and yeah. Just. Is it always the same type of songs or do you just switch around from game to game? I switch around. Yeah, Sometimes it'll be rap, sometimes it'll be ABBA, sometimes it'll be Bee Gees yeah. and sometimes it'll be techno. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, for David, for example, he always listens to the same songs before the match. Yeah, he listens to rap. I, I listen to it every morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, one kind of like routine or ritual is you always want your espresso before the match, I think. Uh, yeah, that's true. Match. I always have an espresso, yeah. Um, last and toughest questions. Uh, you are stranded on a lonely island. Uh, what three items do you take with you? Hmm... If I'm being logical here, yeah, just a flare gun, water, and food. <laughs> water and food, okay. But that's gonna just keep you alive for a few yeah, weeks yeah. or days. Yeah, that's what you need, right? Okay. I don't need entertainment or anything. I need to stay alive. Okay. The, so the most logic. Shelter. No, it's it's probably sunny. It's chilling. <laughs> okay. It's like a little beach holiday. <laughs> okay. Just gonna die there with a beach holiday. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Whenever I see a boat coming around, it's flare gun. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the event now. Um, I read an interview with you, uh, which was, I think, also kind of viral, right? Where you said like uh, that you felt uh, mouse is moving in a okay to good direction. Uh, would you say that we're rather on the good side or the okay side now after the group stage? 
uh, I'd say we're on the good stage right now. Um, yeah, everything's heading in the right direction. And I'm still excited to have a boot camp after the player break. And yeah, it's going to be interesting how we proceed in the next season. Mm -hmm. uh, could you maybe elaborate uh, what kind of reasons you have to make this type of statement, right? Because, you know, the atmosphere you have for the tournament was like they go on Bob out again. Uh, it's a bad direction they're taking, right? Mm -hmm. And I think you also put like a sentence before, right? Like, uh, despite all the online talk and stuff like that, you, know, you felt like we're going into okay to good direction. Um, but yeah, were there like specific talks or specific like points before the Met tournament where you felt like, okay, this is uh, going into this like good direction? Um, I guess just after Dallas, we had a big talk and that was a pretty important talk for us to to see where we're at and where we want to all head and how we all relate to each other. And after that, uh, we were able to release our emotions and whatnot and frustrations. And from then on, we just continued to play. Obviously, um, Dubai happened and yeah, we we had to be separated to play. Um, but other than that, um, I think we felt good in practice. We were communicating right, energy was getting higher and higher. And um, that's what I noticed, that's what I meant from okay to, to good. We're yeah. doing better in terms of uh, practice and being efficient with it. It wasn't stupid or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I was just pleasantly happy. We were obviously a little bit uh, skeptical because of it's just practice. But no matter what, um, it was good to see the development in uh, all the younger players, especially. Um, yeah. And yeah. How much did you have to change since that talk in Dallas? Did you have to change uh, something for you? For myself, uh, not so much. I mostly maybe changed the way I called a little bit. Um, it's more strict in a little in a little way, um, and a little bit loose in, in some ways. So it's loose at the start, strict in the middle, and end. And mm. um, I think it works. Uh, well, we're here right now having this talk, so it works. <laughs> yeah. But is that like a style that you tried before, or is it also like a new experience for you to call? Um, it? It's definitely a new experience for me. Um, I guess I've, in the past, I've always called around um, a little bit more, just relaxed atmosphere, relying on high levels of communication and experience. And obviously, we're a very young team, so. Um, at the start, I probably relied on that too much, and everyone's a bit, uh, and all it takes a little bit of nerves to destroy your communication, and and that's what happened to us. So right now, I've made a lot of uh, strats up basically where it's like default that you have to take space like this, like this exactly, and no matter what, the we get the fights we want, and um, everyone communicates better out of it. So. Mm -hmm. It works in the end, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about your journey a bit with Maus. I mean, it has not been the most pleasant experience, I would say, in uh, regards to community reception. Um, after I joined last year, you know, the first thing people told me about you was like, yeah, he's like really calm, really reserved, you know, uh, really like serious, you know. But then I obviously did my own research, and especially during your Greyhound times, so I think that was. A completely different personality, right? More goofy, more outgoing, and stuff like that. And I feel like that really blossomed now again, especially during Cologne, uh, with the media stuff that ESL did, and also the interviews and stuff like that, right? And also your personal social media. Um, how does it feel like that the community kind of did the one eighty on you right now, right? Like uh, before, everyone hated you, and now uh, every time I see like. When people hate you, they just like, yeah, okay, Dexter, it's just your alternative account, you know, uh, hating on yourself. But uh, how does it feel to see, like, the community just turn on you like this? Um, it's like turning in a good way. Yeah, um, it, it kind of turned in a good way, right? Yeah, it did. It, did. Um, it was good. I, I think all the nice people just didn't really care too much, um, so whatever. But um, all the all the bad people were always, like, highlighted. It's not like it was a, that many people but it's just like it's always highlighted when you don't have that many good messages around yeah. and right now it's just mostly all good messages people being kind um sun's out people are much nicer i don't know um but it feels good it's just 
I can see how it affects a lot of players um, mentally. And coming into this this tournament, I didn't want that affecting me at all. So I tried to shift my mentality towards it and yeah I guess it worked and right now the community is being lovely and yeah everyone's just enjoying themselves and it's mm. just good to see do you take get like a boost out of it as well uh yeah I definitely get a boost out of it I, I'd like to say I don't but yeah it's yeah, uh, it's, yeah it's nice it's and, nice to be and do you read like every message that you get uh yeah I actually do I, I read the, the good and the bad yeah. and then if I read the bad then I say something back to them I, I know you checked HLP because I think there was like a HLP thread of the, the first game or something there where you were like coughing a lot, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, they were like worried about your health and you did a tweet answering. So you're also like on HLP there? Yeah, lot. I read my, uh, I read, read HLTV for my news and uh, political advice and <laughs> stock advice. Do you, do you have an account <laughs> there? No. Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, I do. We're, we're not going to reveal <laughs> what your account is, right? Yeah. All right, uh, just a question to clarify it. Uh, do you have children? Yes. What? You do? <laughs> no. You're going to cut this part like out. four children here in the team, right? <laughs> yes. I take care of the team. So you have four, four children yeah. in the team. Okay. Um, but talking about like family, um, after three years now in Germany, it's been three years, I think, right? No, a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. And yeah. When did you I was in here February, yeah. February last year. Okay, one one year and a half. Um, and uh, it's already planned that you can go back home during the break, right? Mm -hmm. uh, after one half years, which is a very long period, uh, I would say. Yeah. Um, and I also read an interview today with Sponge, right, where he says like, oh, for the no all non-European players, it's it's just the reality right now, right? They have to move away, be away. But um, you going back now? What is the thing that you look forward? to? the most um definitely seeing my girlfriend seeing my mom and dad and my brother and all my extended family basically as well i have a packed schedule when i get back just gonna have a birthday dinner with um, my girlfriend's mom and then straight to canberra and then i have a dinner party there with my family and then the next day is a party at my friend's place so it's going to be crazy seeing just literally everyone that's been in my life in the span of three days basically mm. and I'm, i'm extremely excited for it and yeah. and i guess that 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 was like even a, a good point for for cologne like i every game i went into i was like no matter what i have that coming up after yeah. and it kind of relieved a lot of pressure and right now it's it's still relieving a lot of pressure and i'm excited to go see them but obviously i'm still focused um but it just helps knowing that that's there for me waiting so no matter outcome it was a win-win situation right? yeah yeah so yeah. if you lose you exit earlier you can go home earlier right yeah if you keep going you obviously you can go back yeah but yeah it relieves all the pressure of yeah. this tournament for me and i just want to play and It's gonna be fun to play, and that's it. Have you been in the arena before as a viewer, or? Yeah, I've been in a couple of arenas right no, now. No, I mean this one. Oh, this one? Uh, no, I haven't been to. But place. you saw it on streams and stuff. Like yeah, that, yeah, right? I saw it a lot of times. So, what is your like expectation of this this arena? Um, to be crazy, like full sports events. Every time I've seen it, it's just been like a a European basketball event. <laughs> really, just yeah. people screaming, yelling, drums, whatever. Um, so. It'd be exciting to, to see and hopefully we progress a lot further to see it on Saturday and then maybe even on Sunday and then go from there. Mm. It'll be crazy. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, maybe you can look into that camera and uh, give like a message to the fans for the weekend. Um, thank you for supporting me. Um, I appreciate it a lot and a lot of the whole team appreciates it as well. And um, I hope you guys see us on Friday. And Saturday. And Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> we, we start with Friday. <laughs> then thanks for taking the time. Uh, all the best, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's win this. Thanks.